Hey guys, Austin with uh, Sun Fun Kits. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a, another sort of update on how things are, are sort of going on. I know we haven't been posting videos as normally as we can because right now it's just real R&D phase and just sort of been tied up with R&D. But wanted to get this video out to kind of show you where we are, what we're working on, and some of the stuff that we're going to be releasing soon. So I want to begin by one of the things we'll be releasing. This is going to be an RS-485 to USB cable. Now, um, this is all enclosed as one, no little wires and stuff. Um, I know in the first video we kind of showed this setup, and a lot of people are like, oh, no, the little wires and the little green plugs, we don't like it. And that's probably understandable. That's uh, more of an industrial interface. Uh, normal everyday consumer is not going to want to mess with this. So this is going to be an all-in-one type of cable. Um, it is going to be, I would say, about 12 feet long. So it should be plenty for most installs. And it will look very similar. So you'll just go in and plug it in. It's already wired to match our type of thing. As you can see, it only really has a... Uh, well, let me get it in focus. See here. Oop. All right, back in focus. And as you can see, there are only two wires in here. The rest of it is blank. So this is purpose built for us. And what that's going to basically make you do is you won't have a situation where if you accidentally plug it into something else, you end up burning. So you have the 486A and I'm sorry, 486B and 486A pins. And these are the two outer right uh, uh, pins. And that basically just plugs into, into there. And once it's done, you can simply plug, uh, connect it to a USB hub. Now, you'll be able to connect up to 16 of these. So up to a big, large 20 USB hub, you can hard link uh, 16 batteries, uh, one or two inverters, a servo, and sort of a monitoring device like an Android tablet all working together. Um, essentially, we are taking RS-485 or a CAN bus or any type of input, standardizing it to USB, which makes it super compatible with literally everything. And once all said and done, you'll be able to monitor everything, store everything, and ensure communication. So if you've got a system where you have to talk to two inverters, that will be coming out. You'll be able to plug two inverters in here and get communication going between all of them. All right, so that's a little bit about where we are. We'll have some more updates. This is still going to be about a month or two, actually probably closer to two months before this is released, but it's going to make installation nicer and easier. And we may even come up with a, a latching mechanism to ensure people that are using it in a mobile environment can uh, connect to it. But anyway, that's a little bit about what we have so far, and we'll uh, essentially let you guys know what we come up with as time goes. Thank you.